Today, we explore which NBA team can survive a do or die set of matchups when each of those teams is made up of players at the height of their powers in the prime of their career. To create this roster, I first replaced any player on 2K23 that has a historic or all time version of their player. For example, all time Grizzlies Mike Conley replaces old man Conley on the Utah Jazz. Second, if an older player didn't have another version within the game, I hunted for their highest ever rating from a past 2K game and applied it to them. For example, old man Rudy Gay was an 87 back on NBA 2K13, and thus the Jazz have another weapon. When a team wins a game, they get to steal the player who scored the most points against them from the team that they just beat. I've also added six free agent spots on the map, and we'll explain those further in due time. And you know what? No reason why we shouldn't start this video with a banger, all right? Let's get an interesting team. That, that's not quite. The Indiana Pacers, okay. I mean, we're not going to sit here and complain. Maybe the Indiana Pacers will provide us with a banger matchup going southeast. And that's not a bad way to start Indiana going southeast, nearly into that free agent territory, but nah just into the Memphis Grizzlies territory. Our first team up, the Indiana Pacers, might be the team I altered the least because Halliburton, Turner, they are in their prime. Buddy Heald is now an 84. George Hill is an 80 overall. He's in his prime, but yeah, not much else. And actually, same goes for the Grizzlies. John Morant, Jaron Jackson, Desmond Bain, they are all in their prime. Tyus Jones too. Dylan Brooks, not yet in China. Steven Adams got a boost, but uh, I'll be honest, this is not a banger to start this video. What are we doing here? We I should just respawn. What am I thinking? Well, I'll be, bruh. This wasn't a banger matchup on paper. The game itself wasn't close, not a banger, but we got an upset out the gates. That's kind of fun. Oh, I just, re this is something serious. John Morant led the Grizzlies in scoring. Oh no. It's not exactly the best fit next to Tyrese Halliburton, but welcome to Indiana, John Morant. Yeah, that happened. And of course, welcome to our first mover and shaker, Indiana taking over another state. And that just goes to show you why we play these games on paper and don't rely on who's the betting fit. The Indiana Pacers again? Bro, the wheel We'll always be doing this. They're trying to make the Pacers a favorite right here, right now. Now going southwest. And sure, we'll see John Morant in action. We're not going to do anything crazy. They're going into Illinois to face the Bulls. The Bulls are a team that benefited from the prime boost because DeRozan's now an 89, Levine an 88. And yes, Andre Drummond was an 87 on, I think, 2K19, a game a few years ago. Why not? Oh, and would you look at that? They just became a betting favorite, but nah, son. The odds swung in the favor of Indiana when they picked up John Morant, but uh, they they quickly crashed. Yeah, that, that was not a good performance at all. And John Morant, well, he's going to be on the move again after leading Indiana in scoring. New subplot to this video. How many jerseys will John Morant wear? And just like that, the Bulls add John Morant, take over a bunch of new territory, and yeah, their odds have skyrocketed. Unfortunately, you can't literally bet on the outcome of this video, but the IRL playoffs? Today's video sponsor, DraftKings Sportsbook, can help you out there. As stars claw and fight to help their teams advance, DraftKings Sportsbook is offering all new customers $150 in bonus bets if their pregame money line wager of $5 cashes. Ah, uh, that's high key and amazing deal for new customers. A $5 bet could get you 150 in bonus bets? In addition to those money line wagers, DraftKings also offers same game parlays where you can combine multiple bets from one game, maybe hit on an even bigger payout. Yeah, building these out are just way too much fun. If mobile sports betting isn't available in your area, don't worry. DraftKings offers daily fantasy with cash prizes for nearly every sport. Download the DraftKings Sports Sportsbook app now. New customers use code JCANADA, bet $5 on any pregame money line wager, and get $150 in bonus bets if it hits. To make the most out of all your playoff sports watching, and if you're like me, I know you're doing a lot of that, use promo code JCANADA only at DraftKings Sportsbook. And finally, we'll get a new team in this video because the Pacers have been forcibly removed. The Timberwolves, yes. Yes, that's exciting. They are one of the teams that really got altered with all these prime players. They're going west. Ooh, and west for the T-Wolves is a big long journey that takes them right through this guy right here free agent into the territory of portland that free agent power up is very simple whichever team wins this game will get to add in addition to the player they steal a prime free agent and there's some good ones out there but first to look at our rosters yes carl anthony towns is a 91 overall again rudy gobert an 88 and mike conley from the intro he's also an 88 while the trailblazers just saw a little boost to nurkic i think jaren oh nurkic might be it yeah dame's gonna have to backpack just like real life. Bruh, poor Dame. He can't take a W in Portland in anything these days. Also, can we stop getting blowouts? Oh my word. And Dame doesn't even get to run from the grind. My guy shot six of 15. Anthony Simons is the addition for Minnesota. Fortunately, the Timberwolves also win our first free agent acquisition, meaning they get the pick of the crop and say hello to prime Carmelo Anthony, Denver Nuggets version, exactly what Minnesota needed. Nah, DraftKings about to get destroyed by anyone who 
who put a futures bet on Minnesota when this video started. I anticipated another blowout when the wheel landed on Brooklyn, sent them into Boston territory in the Northeast because Boston is rocking out with prime Blake Griffin and prime Al Horford added to their already championship level core. While the Nets have prime Ben Simmons and that's about it. But Brooklyn is simply balling and simply battling their only down four. Cam Thomas going to work. That's a pull up Jay and that's a bad shot. Oh, there it is. Marcus Smart. Of course it would be <laughs> Of course, it would be Marcus taking and hitting probably the dagger. Oh, wow. Prime Ben Simmons actually balled out in a tight loss, and he'll be joining the Boston Celtics, and what a unit that is, my word. After Boston expanded their territory, I assumed we were getting a nice first game by for Dallas, who entered Houston territory. The Mavs adding prime Kyrie Irving to their roster, not much else. But I mean, look at this Rockets team. It's no better than IRL, where they're bad. But Houston, like Brooklyn before them, is down only four. They're an underdog in this game. Can they find a good shot. Jalen Green to the rack. Oh, you needed that finish, buddy. Kyrie just hit a pair of free throws, but a three-pointer here from Houston would keep them in this game. Oh, oh, that's actually a wide open look. Kevin Porter Jr. Brick. It. Dang it, man. We're so close to a big upset. Ah, and Kevin Porter missed the big shot, but he had a big game and he joins the Dallas Mavericks. Another point guard, pretty much exactly what Dallas didn't need. Speaking of what teams didn't need, I figured that was the case for the Utah Jazz, who were the unlucky victim after the wheel gave us Phoenix. And I say unlucky victim because prime Kevin Durant, prime Chris Paul, prime bubble TJ Warren. This Suns team is insane. And yeah, even though they've got uh, prime Rudy Gay, the Jazz team, not so much. However, I literally couldn't believe my eyes at what was unfolding during this game. The Utah Jazz grabbed hold of an early lead and never gave it up. They dominated this one. Nah, this is out of pocket. This is out of pocket. The Phoenix Suns easily one of the top three teams in terms of the boost they got from their prime players, but none of it matters if it's just on paper. KD, Chris, I forgot Terrence Ross is better too. TJ Warren was a no-show. D-Book 450. I even upgraded Devin Booker's rating a tiny bit because he's playing so well in the playoffs, but uh, yeah, Lori Markkinen led the way. I'm sure we can all expect another Players Tribune article from Kevin Durant who finds himself now in a jazz jersey. I'm calling it right now. That is easily the biggest upset we're going to see in this video and I love it, man. Utah, let's go. Uh, past J Canada. Let me let me just check you on that because uh, something else is brewing later in this video. In their debut game in this video to come out with this performance, taking down a team that has not only played a few games already, but accrued some of the best talent in the freaking NBA. Oh, Oh, hey, and, and pass J plus pass J, uh, both of those upsets probably pale in comparison to what's coming after them. This one is it. This is the biggest upset of the video and arguably the biggest one I've ever seen making imperialism videos. And it was all orchestrated by one man throughout those clutch minutes, one of the greatest clutch masterclasses I've ever laid my eyes on. After Utah staked their claim for the Western United States, we'd see some Canadian action as the Knicks were northbound. Yeah, the Raps didn't receive much of a boost with their prime players. Will Barton, Thaddeus Young, not that impressive. While the New York Knicks have the number one draft pick in terms of players we wanted to see in their prime, Derrick Rose. Yeah, uh-huh. Number one draft pick. Don't lie to yourself. And thankfully for all of us looking to have some fun this video, Derrick Rose and the Knicks did not disappoint. Thoroughly dominating and destroying the Toronto Raptors. D. Rose had 39 points on 16 of 18 shooting. Uh, unfortunately, the Knicks are adding Will Barton, which is not that inspiring. We're heading towards an inevitable Boston versus New York battle for the northeast tip of the USA and honestly no notes I can't wait for it. after the wraps were eliminated the wheel would take us to the DMV sending the Wizards east into Cavaliers territory through another free agent state the Wizards with Beal Porzingis Kuzma and uh, a lack of depth hey they've got Taj Gibson back in his prime taking on Mitchell Garland Mobley Allen who are all definitely in their prime but look at Ricky Rubio Karis Levert and Danny Green back from the dead both these teams could use that free agent though there were some signs of life late in this game for the Wizards but not not enough, man. The Cavs are really good. Prime Ricky Rubio could be a difference maker. And Bradley Beal, an inefficient 31 points. Man, that sounds familiar. In addition to Brad Beal, the Cavs also get their pick of prime free agents. I'm not going to overthink this. Dwight Howard, come on back from Taiwan, buddy. You're joining a now loaded Cavaliers roster. Yep, this could be trouble. And by that, I mean bad news for the rest of the map. The Cavaliers are going to be a tough out. Speaking of which, Dallas Mavericks, this will be their second game. Who'd they? They added Kevin Porter Jr. Now they're going Southwest. We'll go ahead and consider 
consider that uh, New Orleans. That's all the south they can go. This should be fun. The Pels with 92 Zion, who, yeah, that's his prime. He's not hurt. That's his prime. CJ a little bit better. Jonas Valanciunas a bit better. Josh Richardson, some depth. Oh, baby. If the Pels can potentially win and add Luka Doncic to their core, yo. Oh, and yo ho, yo ho, my boys. The Pelicans, they do exactly what I just said. How did they win this game, bro? And indeed, yo, Kyrie really shot him out of this game. 7 of 20. Luka leads the team in scoring, which means Luka now sports a New Orleans Pelicans jersey. How sexy is that? After the Pels big move, the Pistons would try honing in on this battle for the Northeast by taking on the New York Knicks, which went about as good as could be expected considering the Pistons had basically no prime player boost. Uh, yeah, that was dominant. D. Rose would finish the game. He didn't score this game, but 18 points, 18 assists. What in the world? And Cade Cunningham will get to live on in this video in a Knicks jersey. Another team that could be a problem in the northern region of the U.S., the Milwaukee Bucks, who would be taking on their division rival, Chicago Bulls. The Bucks with nice small increases to Brooke Lopez, Chris Middleton, and is that a prime Goran Dragic sighting? Remember, their opponent, the Bulls, have already picked up John Morant. This should be a doozy. And indeed, we got a three-point game with two minutes left. Can John, the boys, close this out? This is my question. Oh, good pass. Good finish, Levine from Ja Morant on the dung. Giannis in transition, getting stopped up by Vooch. What are Giannis? What are you doing? Oh, they subbed in Wes Matthews, who's in his prime. A good shooter. Chris Middleton. Your foot was on the line, Chris. And you bricked it. Nah, Milwaukee was unserious. Fair enough. Giannis was indeed the Bucks leading scorer. Holy moly, the Bulls are getting loaded. The wheel was determined to eliminate a powerhouse in this video as we'd land on the Bulls again, sending them into Pelicans territory, which means Giannis, Ja Morant, and the Bulls versus Zion, Luka, and the Pels already? And this matchup living up to the billing, boys. 113 all with two and a half left. Oh, Giannis is taking it right at Zion. Out the gates and one. What was that camera work to? It's fine. I'll put some B-roll over it. I'll do your job. Jonas Valanciunas. Oh, he's going to work right around Vooch. Okay. Nah, John Moran just burnt Luka. Jaw just burnt Luka and flew to the rim. Now, me personally, Luka, I wouldn't let John Moran get away with embarrassing me like that. Here you go, Luka. Yeah, get him back. Get him back. Don't let him do you dirty, Luca. You had a great look. Oh, no, it's CJ. It's CJ. He's going to force something up. Val? Jonas Val in the clutch. That's the shot they get? A wildly unserious finish for the Pelicans, and CJ McCollum led them in scoring. That's a tough break for the Bulls. Speaking of unbeatable on paper, not quite how I describe the Miami Heat, but prime Kevin Love, prime Kyle Lowry, prime Victor Oladipo, and prime Udonis Haslam. Yeah, they're goaded. And it should be a walk in the park for them in this battle for Florida. I mean, Gary Harris. Harris, he's cool, Orlando, but not really. Orlando put up a bit of a fight, but I mean, when Udonis Haslam in his prime is on the other side, you're gonna get walked. Oh yeah, seven and 10, two steals, two blocks, GG. <laughs> and it, it is prime Gary Harris leading Orlando in scoring. All right. After Miami took over Florida, we'd spin and land on the Atlanta Hawks for the first time. Southwest from them is into Chicago Bulls territory and through a free agent state. We know the tale of the tape with the loaded Bulls, but the Hawks always pretty good. I put John Collins back in his prime. Yeah, not much. But in a complete jinxing of the Chicago Bulls, my doubt in Atlanta was not necessary because they came out and balled in their debut game in this video to come out with this performance. Taking down a team that has not only played a few games already, but accrued some of the best talent in the freaking NBA. Nah, the Chicago Bulls just went out so sad and all their star power too. What? And unfortunately, we don't get to add another John Morant jersey to the fold in this video. DeMar DeRozan though on the move? I can't believe it, man. If this team, maybe if they had Zion or Luka, how did this team lose? Oh my gosh, bro. And I forgot that game was for a free agent, which is, just, it's just nuts. Now they don't need a point guard, the Hawks. They don't really need a center, but look who's sitting right here for them. An ATL Hawks legend, prime Joe Johnson. We've got to do it. I went ahead and made DeRozan an undersized four. These Hawks are going to run a killer small ball five. Yeah, let's, I, I'm rooting for the Hawks now. All that glorious Chicago Bulls red territory turns into Atlanta Hawks red. It's, you know, I kind of wish it was a different color, but what can you do? After the new biggest upset of the video and the biggest move in terms of land math, finally, we're going out west, baby. And depending where this compass goes, this could be a chaotic matchup to say the least. Okay, north, that's actually not chaotic at all because it looks like the Lakers will avoid any other California teams. They're into Timberwolves green territory. Remember the Timberwolves were able to add Carmelo Anthony way back when? But of 
of course, the Lakers sporting a guy, a little guy by the name of 99 overall LeBron James, 95 AD, 87 D'Lo, the former Timberwolves. And Melo versus Prime LeBron is proving to be a good battle one point game. This is Braids, Nuggets, Melo. Oh, he's shooting it. And it's a good, he made it. Oh, okay, Melo, I see you. Oh, Rudy Gobert, huge offensive rebound. AD's getting bodied right now on both ends. I can't even lie. Mo Bamba, yeah, right. Rudy with the big stop. D'Lo for three. Nah, he bricked it. He bricked it. The Timberwolves just dominated down the stretch. In LeBron's defense, he did have 38, 9, 9, 4, and 2. Yeah, that's pretty serious. But Melo and specifically Rudy Gobert with 25 and 13 came up so clutch. Mm -mm -mm. Prime number six LeBron in a T-Wolves jersey. Amazing. As the Timberwolves become the first team to expand territory into California. We'd follow that up with the Knicks up on the wheel again, but avoiding the Celtics matchup. For now, they'll be facing the 76ers. This will be no small task for D-Rose and the Knicks, who actually might be the underdog considering this is prime Harden, baby. And unfortunately, the Knicks' magical ride led by MVP D-Rose, well, it hit too big a roadblock as the Sixers were locked. And they were locked to the tune of a convincing, kind of easygoing 12-point victory. Man, I did find myself rooting for the Knicks in this video. Tobias Harris led them in scoring. Um, okay, sure. Thankfully, MVP D-Rose will live on as he was the leading scorer for New York. And now the Sixers boast three MVPs, Joel, James Harden, D. Rose, they are a favorite. And for the sake of differentiating from those Hawks, we've made the 76ers territory blue and they take over a whole lot. We'd put the MVP trio right to work as the Sixers were heading southwest into Cleveland. MVP prime Joel Embiid versus prime DPOY Dwight Howard. This should be good. Yes, sir. Two point game, minute and a half left. Cleveland in control. But can they close this game out? Donovan Mitchell going to work. Uh, okay, he gets the free throw line. Wow, the Cavs don't have Bradley Beal on the floor, but the Sixers don't have James Harden on the floor. What are these coaches doing? Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. It don't matter. D Rose is on the floor and that's really the only thing that counts. That dunk from D Rose was insane, but did the Sixers have a stop? Eh, no, it's Dwight slipping inside. Joel, what was that? I don't think the Sixers should try Dwight Howard inside. Dude, D Rose, that was makeable. Oh man. Still no James Harden on the floor. This is nuts. And what are they doing? Joel, Joel, re really? Joel, bro. What did I just see? Joel went ahead and tried prime Dwight Howard in the clutch. Not a good idea. This is the end of the road for D Rose as Joel will join Cleveland after the loss. We had a new landmass owner in the Northeast, the Cavs with only Boston standing in their way and another potential map shifting matchup as the Timberwolves headed east into Atlanta Hawks territory. Uh oh. Prime LeBron Mello off the bench versus ISO Joe and the ATL Hawks. Let's go. I expected this game to be an all out heavyweight rock fight, but in Instead, the freaking Atlanta Hawks. What is in the water over in Georgia? They were clearly the undermanned team. I mean, I like Atlanta's roster. I just jumped on their bandwagon, but against these Timberwolves, dude, the upsets just don't stop in this video. Trey Young is simply, he's simply Thanos in these videos. I don't get it. He simulates so well, but the moment of truth, who led the Timber? It is LeBron. Okay. Classic La Super team. Am I right? Switching teams again. By virtue of taking down Minnesota, the Hawks territory starts in the Southeast and wraps all around America, even into California. IA. Those nationwide Hawks would play back to back in what was essentially a buy as, yeah, the Spurs unfortunately had next to nothing in terms of competition for our Hawks. I'm sorry, Spurs fans. This one wasn't for you. And now ATL also owns Texas. And sure, let's slap that big Hawks logo in there. Yeah. We finally returned to Cali where we landed on Sacramento, unfortunately sending them into Golden State. Unfortunate because, yeah, that's Prime, Steph, Clay, Dre, Iggy. Ooh. And the Kings, well, they're pretty much in their prime right now. Zach, though, was battling right to the end against this Warriors team. Is Steph about to cook up? Is Steph about to cook up a dagger? Uh, oh, he missed. No. Steph, you've got another shot at redemption. Don't smoke another layup. There, <laughs> there you go. Steph made good. De'Aaron Fox, 26 and 10. Very nice game. He will join the Warriors, who, by the way, were led by prime Clay Thompson, 32 points, after Golden State made their move to stake claim in California. The wheel would send us back to middle America, the Denver Nuggets, who unfortunately were sent south through a free agent spot into Atlanta Hawks territory. This could be really bad news for the rest of the map because the Hawks might take Nikola Jokic and a free agent. And that's what the big mover for this Nuggets roster, by the way, DeAndre Jordan just, yeah, we'll see if he makes an impact. Yep, yep, yep. I was really hoping that would be a game, but I saw this coming. And there's only one question, one thing we have to assess from this game. Did Nikola Jokic lead Denver in scoring? Moment of truth. Okay, Trey Young had 45 and 11. We, we don't care. That's just old hat for a uh, tray, but did Jokic, he did. 
25, 9, and 11. Nah, it's over. ATL won this video. Nah, like it doesn't matter. 99 LeBron, 97 Jokic, and both of them are just role players for Thanos, Trey Young. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. And sure, let's go ahead and give him another free agent. You know what? Let's bring back another Atlanta legend. That seemed to work last time with Joe Johnson. Paul Millsap. I mean, they're just they're just turning America red. <clears throat> Never mind. Um, will we get a team that can stop the Denver, the Atlanta Hawks? It wasn't the Denver Nuggets. The Clippers, though. I don't know if they'll match up with the Hawks here, but the Clippers are a very interesting French. Okay. Yep. Northwest from the Clippers is into Hawks territory, who, of course, have a piece of California. This could be our last hope, ladies and gents. The best team on paper that we've yet to see in this video. Prime Kawhi Leonard, MVP Prime Russell Westbrook, and Prime Paul George, not to mention 85 Eric Gordon. They actually have depth. If there's ever a team that's going to take down Atlanta. It's got to be here, Clip Show. Well, what the hell, boy? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I'm being a doubter here. I, I actually had hope in the Clippers and it just it, it just did did not did not come through. That was a 30 point blowout for the Hawks who made 16 threes on 50%. Yeah, that'll do Bro, it. Bro, does Kawhi care about anything? At 12 points on 5 of 15, what are you doing? We'd see the Cavs in action again for the first time in a minute as the Hornets made their debut entering Cleveland's territory. And I'm sorry, what is going on here? We're not about to see the Hornets upset the Cavs. Are with Joel, Prime, Dwight Howard? Th this isn't really happening, is yeah. it? Yeah, this might actually be happening. If Charlotte can get a clutch shot or two here, oh no. LaMelo inside, that's too easy. I mean, to be fair, the Cavs do have Embiid, Dwight, and Evan Mobley on the floor. Just no court spacing at all. But like, Joel, you gotta score that, right? In the clutch, MVP. Oh my, that's space, LaMelo. That's space. Yo, he should have made that. I thought that was down. I gotta be honest, not that inspired by this Cavs team who got pushed to the brink by Prime, Gordon, Hayward, and uh, not much else. After the Cavs took over Charlotte's territory, I mean, I had to respect it. The Hawks weren't sitting back. They were on the attack, this time going north into OKC. Is Shea Gilgis Alexander the chosen one to single-handedly take down the Hawks? When I called for Shea to be the chosen one and take down the big bad Hawks, I had no knowledge of the future. I had no knowledge of anything but the present. This man Shea is a menace. There he goes, blow Going by Trey Young in his sad defense. Oh my word, dude. If the Thunder just played defense down the stretch, that's a good look. Okay, Trey's still elite offensively. Somebody's gonna have to help Shea out offensively, or they can just get stops. Yeah, that would work too, dude. Dude, Trey. Oh, the bailout whistle. It's all good. Trey made both his free throws. Look at Shea. Look at Shea. This dude is built different. He didn't even hesitate. He just went right to the rim. I promise you all, I did not increase Shea's ratings. I don't. Did I touch anybody on OKC? It doesn't matter. LeBron is now out there for Atlanta. He's taking a pick and roll from Nikola Jokic. This team is nuts. That's a huge shot from LeBron. Both teams were trading big bricks in the clutch once we got to OT. But take a guess at who would break the ice, who wasn't bricking in overtime. There you go, Shea. Get to the rim. Get to the rim and one. This man is on another level and then another level on top of that. Shea in the post. Now nah, that's way too easy. Yo, the OKC Thunder are legit. This one is it. This is the biggest upset of the video and arguably the biggest one I've ever seen making imperialism videos. And it was all orchestrated by one man throughout those clutch minutes. One of the greatest clutch master classes I've ever laid my eyes on. Shea Gilgis Alexander, 39, 7, and 9. And so many of those points came when I jumped in the game and watched. Oh, and this should also be fun. Look at all that real estate currently occupied by the red Atlanta Hawks. America's gone blue, baby. Just ignore me, honestly. With just six teams remaining, the Heat would finally re-enter the fold, challenging those OKC Thunder. Man, I forgot the Heat have acquired just one new player, Gary Harris, but their base roster with the prime players is legit. Uh, yeah. Well, I always want chaos at the end of these videos. That was the shortest lived reign of, I don't know, dominance, power, whatever you want. Oh, OKC is, is is done. Shea took down the biggest, baddest opponent on our entire map, then said, I, I'm a head out. He said, blood, the light's too bright. He said, I'm good. Yeah, I'm not that guy. Meanwhile, Caleb turning back the clock. Jimmy Butler, uh, Udonis Haslam, another huge 8.7 rebounds. Wow. Out with the blue, in with the Miami sunshine gold. Yep, that just happened. Miami would immediately be forced to defend their territory heading southwest, which I took to be into Utah territory. A reminder, the Jazz, they haven't played in forever, but they beat the Suns and took KD way back when. For the first time in a minute, one of our powerhouse teams was able to defend their turf as Miami led this game wire to wire before eventually putting away an eight-point lead. Nothing too serious, but a W is a W, especially when Kevin Durant led the Jazz in scoring, meaning another Players' Tribune article from KD is coming shortly. Just four teams remain on the map. The Miami 
Miami Heat and, you know, three other ones. And at long last, we'd return to Boston, sending them southeast. Only one team they can play, the Cavaliers. And we'll say it sends them through that free agent tiny territory. Both these teams have rosters capable of beating Miami, especially after stealing a player and adding a free agent. Who's it going to be? Oh, it's uh, it's going to be the Cavaliers rather easily by, by like almost 40 points. Okay. Have the Cavaliers been the sleeping giant ready to destroy everyone just under my nose this whole time? They get to add Jalen Brown too, not too shabby. In addition to adding Jalen Brown, their fourth 90 overall player, the Cavs also get a free agent. They definitely don't need a center to Marcus Cousins. So sure, let's give them point guard depth. Ain't nobody beating that team, bruh. I see the vision now. Yep, I, I didn't see it before, but I do now. Three teams left on the map, including little old Golden State. Are they gonna just ruin some things here? Wait, I kind of don't want to see Golden State just get a free trip to the finals, right? Like, yeah, let's make them play. There you go. And we do not need to spin the compass. There's only one team they can play. They can't get a free agent. It's Golden State. It's Miami. Let's go. We must not let the land real estate on the map deceive us. This Warriors team is legit, and they've added De'Aaron Fox from the one game they've played. They've got everything, though. I can't lie. However, the Heat adding Kevin Durant was a clutch addition. Honestly, though, on paper, these teams are so similar. Let's do it. Durant was dominating out the gates in the first half against one of his many former teams. And once again, Prime Steph Curry, Clay, Dre, well, they could have used a call to Kevin Durant from the Hamptons. I do think Miami was more deep with, you know, mid 80s to high 80 overall players, but I don't know. Golden State probably should have made this a game a little bit more than they did. Durant gets the last laugh, only having to play 24 minutes. He scored 28. Jimmy Butler was amazing. And there you go. Steph led Golden State in points, which means he's going to team up with KD for a chance at another championship. Why do I feel like I've seen this before? With Golden State officially eliminated that left two cities, two teams left on our map, Miami versus Cleveland. We left just one free agent spot on the board and we're not going to use it. Neither team gets an advantage ahead of the final. This is just mono e mono. Let's go. We know the tale of the tape for Miami. Prime KD and Steph reunited. Himothy Butler, Kevin Love, and of course, Udonis Haslam still in the rotation. While Cleveland has sneakily made it this far, I don't like their makeup with two centers leading the way, two shooting guards there as well, but so much talent. Cleveland is legit. As you'd hope for in this video, we came down to an epic final matchup. Cleveland had the upper hand through the first half, but it was close. Miami was hanging in there. But unfortunately, as often happens, one team did pull away in the second half. The Cleveland Cavaliers with their two legendary big man setup. I don't get it, but man, did it ever work in this game. Joel Embiid, 22-11 and 4 to lead the way. Dwight, 16-11-2. He had four blocks, filling up that stat sheet. And unlike IRL, when they teamed up, Kevin Durant and Steph Curry do take an L on the biggest stage. I can't believe it, bro. This was such a good Heat team. After countless twists and turns down the stretch of this video, we are left with one team standing, the Cleveland Cavaliers. A cut above the rest, they built an amazing team and came through clutch. Man, I did not see Cleveland coming on the way they did right there. Let me know if you saw that coming and if you enjoyed this video. Also, shout out to DraftKings once again for sponsoring this video. Use code JCanada.